Welcome to Quick Clip Tips. Hello folks and welcome back once again to the house that never sleeps. This is more like a, a Quick Clip Info. I'd say that it is a quick clip tip, but I'm going to give you a little bit of info here. A lot of you know about this and a lot of you don't from what I understand from Facebooking. Did, did you know? Did you know it? If you can maintain a high saddle, you can see this saddle's not very high. It's very low, in fact. Acoustic guitars that have a high saddle on them is, are going to sound better. They're going to sound their absolute best. The higher that saddle is, the more strings, the, the more down pressure your strings are going to have as they come up out of the bridge pin hole and come over the saddle. If the saddle's higher, then, you, you know, common sense tells you there's going to be more down pressure there, okay? That more down pressure carries vibrations better. You dig what I mean? Now, of course, if your neck angle's off, and that, that's what happens almost every time. Uh, if your neck angle is off, you're going to have a low saddle like this. This guitar is pushing a neck reset. It's not, it's, you know, like, it's going to be a good while, hopefully, before it ever really needs one. But it's, it's moving in that direction. Getting a belly. This uh, whole bridge area is rising slowly over years. And to compensate to, for that, to keep the action down, you've got to take the saddle down, okay? So you can see the saddle isn't very high. And it's losing a lot of sound because of that. Now, if I reset the neck on it, I could put a lot taller saddle in there. would create a lot more down pressure on the saddle from the strings. And in turn, make this guitar sound ten times, literally ten times better, okay? That's one. Another thing you can do, the same thing with the nut, okay? The more down pressure you have on your nut, the better your guitar is going to sound, and it makes a world, especially if you do them both, the nut and the saddle. But like I say, you got to reset the neck to do this, so probably not many of you will, but I'm telling you this so in case you find a guitar that's got a really high saddle on it, I know you have seen them before where they, the saddle is just sticking way up out of the slot. A really tall saddle. You've seen them that way. Surely you have. Surely you have. Okay? Uh, that guitar is going to sound as good as it possibly can sound. Well, you know, with new strings and setup and stuff, right? This guitar, like I say, I could reset the neck and then put a way higher saddle in it. And I could uh, make it sound way better than it already does. But, you know, that's a big job, man. And I'm not doing it for free. Now, getting back to the nut up here. If you increase the down pressure on your nut, just like with the saddle, you gain a bunch more there. If you have a plastic nut and you go to bone or tusk, that also increases. Same with the saddle. There again, if it's plastic, go to bone. If it's bone, I would recommend you at least try a tusk saddle, or a nut, or both. Uh, but you you can't, uh, the only way you can get more down pressure up here, the only way that makes any sense, is to either get tuning machines with a lot shorter pegs on them, and you can buy them, they're called high performance tuning machines. They got a real tiny short peg up here. And uh, th these have a nut right there. You can see that, I think. The high-performance ones may too. I think some of them do, some don't. But anyway, the idea is to crank that string when you wind your new string on. Crank it right down, you know, not hitting the, the headstock. You don't want to scar the wood up and crap there. But right down to it as close down as you can, okay? By pulling all those strings down, you've increased the, the stress, the tension on that nut a lot, a whole lot, man. And that, in turn, you know, if you can do it on the saddle too, of course you'd have to reset the neck. This up here is easy. You can even gain a lot 
with the keys you already have on your guitar. Just wind them down as far as you can. Uh, leave more string than maybe you normally would so you can wind it down farther, down onto the peg, down that way toward the headstock. We got treble cue balls here. You know what that means. And uh, you will see a huge, huge, huge difference in the sound of your guitar if you do that. Uh, by increasing that tension down on them because like I say vibrations from the strings will carry better through that tight fit they're not really so much a tight fit I guess as it is uh, stress I don't know try it man if you can or, or if you look at guitars look at ones with a really high saddle on them and play them and, and notice the sound that they have cheers thanks for watching I hope the quick clip info quick clip info helps tell them I love you I love you I love you I love you what I love you what is it oh good what is it now? Oh, no. What? Oh, no. Are we off?